might be really boring, but you've got to read your policy wording. You need to know what you're covered for. Um, you need to know what you're not covered for. Uh, and if you're not happy with the cover you've got, you need to tell your insurance company about that. You need to do your homework. You need to do your research. Before you buy a property, make sure you know how much it's going to cost to insure. It could affect your profitability. It's easy to renew your policies uh, automatically, but don't fall into that trap. Always make sure that you check your premium, always make sure that you check your cover. If you've not had a claim, if you've not changed your tenant type, if there's been no changes to your property, don't accept a hike in the price. All policies aren't the same, but you can't compare apples with pears. Make sure you've got the right level of cover for you and the risks that you're prepared to take. You need to make sure you're buying the right policy. Um, remember that some insurance costs taxable allowances as well. We use TripAdvisor for hotels, do the same for your insurance. Companies like FIFO, independent customer feedback, de facto, they rank policies based on the quality of cover. Do some research, do your homework. You've got to know your strategy, you've got to know your properties, you've got to know your areas. You need to know what risks you can insure for and risks that you can't. You need to tailor your insurance policies per property. Don't dismiss the optional extras. Um, have a look at them, you might need them. You could reduce your excess, you could add accidental and malicious damage by the tenant, you could add rent guarantee, you could add legal cover. Um, all of these are really valuable covers, so um, do investigate them. Always make sure you've got the right amount of cover that you need, so update your building some insurance. If you've had recent renovation work, it's particularly important to make sure that figure is up to date. Check affordability, check previous tenancy histories, check credit histories. Um, use your letting agent, use an external referencing company if you need to. Uh, most insurers will insist you have an assured short or tenancy agreement in place, um, but you can set the rules. So you can adjust this if you need to, you just need to make sure that what you're doing is fair on all parties involved um, and everybody knows where they stand from the outset. Inspect between two and four times a year. Um, blame the insurers if you need to. If you're a bit worried about going in to see your tenants, tell them it's a stipulation of your insurance company. We don't mind. The important thing is that you go in and you make sure your tenants are looking after your property and you can address any concerns they may have when you see them. So your neighbours live next door to your property. If you're friends with them, they can tell you if there's any issues with your tenants, if they've noticed any problems with the property. Uh, one of the biggest risks for us insurers are empty properties. Um, if you know your property is going to be empty for any more than a month, um, you need to make sure you prepare the property properly. So consider draining down the systems, um, consider leaving the heating on if it's going to be over the winter months, inspect it regularly, there's lots of things you can do, but please make sure you can keep your insurers informed. It's really important um, to have a team of people around you that you can trust, whether they're builders, plumbers, electricians, um, you can call on them when you need to, so you don't necessarily need to use your insurance. But if you do need to use your insurance and you want to use your trusted tradespeople, do make sure your insurers are happy with them first. If you've got more than three properties, um, get a portfolio quote. Really easy to do. You normally get a dedicated account handler and it will save you time and it will save you hassle. Keep in touch with us. If anything changes at your property, let us know. Don't be afraid to call us. We're normal people. Some of us are landlords, so tell us. Give us a ring.